hi youtube family in today video what we are going to learn we are going to learn how to provide cross account s3 bucket access so here i mean let's suppose we are in the scenario like where we have two account aws account one and the aws account two and i want my user which is there in the aws account one will able to access the bucket which is there in the aws account two so how we can do that i will go step by step for this okay and you will learn how to do this thing prerequisite for this video lab is we need two aws account in the first account we need to create a user with limited privileges or rather i would say with no permission because later on we are going to attach a inline policy to the user and in the other account we need the s3 bucket where we need to provide access to the user so let's go with the demo part so here i am logged into the two aws account so this is account one and if i go here you can see the account number this is starting with 3301 and let me go to the other account which is open in a different browser and if i'm going to click here that is a different account okay now the first thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to create a user in account one so in the account one I will go to the IAM. This is the IAM, and here I'm going to create a user. So let me create a user here. Now, in order to create a user, we need to click on the Add User. Once we click on the Add User, we will we will present with this screen. So let me give a name User. I will go with the programmatic access. Next, I'm not going to attach anything to the user. I mean to say, no permission to the user. So my user is created. Let me grab the access key and the secret key and configure this user on my local machine. And to configure this user on the local machine, we need to go with this AWS configure. Then we need to provide the profile name. So S3 bucket. Let me give something like that. Now here we need to provide the access key. Then it is asking me to provide the secret key. Let me provide the secret key here. Region, it is going to be the US East. And default output format is going to be JSON, but I am not going to provide it here. So that's okay. Now I have configured my user. And let me check whether this user is able to call any of the service in the AWS. So let me go with that AWS S3 LS and minus minus profile. S3 bucket. Let's wait. Okay, now I'm getting this an error occurred access denied. So that means this user has no access. So we are done with the step one of this where we have created a user and where we have provided limited access or no access to the user. If I go to this user, user here, there is no permission attached to it. But later on, we will attach an inline policy. But before that, let's go to the other AWS account and create a S3 bucket. Now, this is my different AWS account. Okay. Now, in this account, I'm going to create a S3 bucket. And to create a S3 bucket, we need to go to the Amazon S3. And how we are here by typing this S3. And once we click on this, we will land on this page. Here, I'm going to create a bucket. So, let me create a bucket. And let me give s3 bucket cross account user access zero something like this because the name should be unique and here i'm going to select the region so I, i'm going with the us each one no other setting i'm going to touch let me create a bucket now my bucket is created so let me go inside my bucket so here is my bucket This is my bucket. Now what I need to do is I need to upload a couple of objects here. So let me click on the upload, click on add file and I'm going with this in ks.pem. So I have uploaded one of the file as well. Let me click on close here. Now let me go to the permission and in the permission we need to go to the bucket policy. Now here we need to edit. I have couple of options to generate the bucket policy. I can you know edit it from here or I can generate the policy with the help of the policy generator. So let me go to the policy generator and create a policy. 
Now which policy I need to create? I need to create a policy for the S3 bucket. Here we need to select the effect that is going to be allowed or deny whether I need to give access to the user or whether I need to deny access to the user. So I will go with the allow. Here in the principle we need to add the user. Now where is my user? User is in account, in a different account and here we need to grab the ARN of the user. So this is the user I have created. Let me grab this ARN. Let me go here and enter this. Now what service we need to provide to the user that is something we need to select so here the Amazon S3 is already selected then we need to select the action so let me go with all the action and in the ARN Amazon resource name we need to provide the bucket ARN so from where we will get the bucket ARN from the same place where we have clicked on the policy generator below that we have the bucket ARN let me copy this thing let me provide it here add statement we can generate a policy but wait we need to generate one more so let me give the ARN again and here we need to give the principal so for the principal I need to go again and I need to grab the user ARN all action now here what you need to do is you need to provide this thing I will tell you why you need to provide this thing so let me provide that add statement now you have two policies let me generate now we have two policy let me copy this policy and then I will explain what exactly this policy is doing and I need to enter it here make sure there is no space in the beginning otherwise it will give you the error message and we are good let me save the changes we are done now let's see the policy now we have generated a policy where we have two resources one is this resource and other one is this resource so if you look both the resources are same but there is a slash star in the end so this is for the bucket where the user will get access to the bucket and this is for the bucket object this is we need to give if we are not going to give this thing or let's suppose if I am going to give this thing then user will get access to the bucket object but user will not get access to the bucket so again the policy is not going to work so we need to give in this way okay now we have provided access to the user here but still the steps are not complete if I go to this where my user is configured and if I try to you know access that bucket so let me try to access that bucket here we need the bucket name so what is the bucket name now uh, we will get it from here this is the bucket name let me copy this thing I will get an error message here so I am getting an error occurred access denied here it says calling the list object v2 operation access deny. Now how to resolve this thing or there is one more step which we need to do and what is the step where we need to go to the user. Now this is the user here we need to add an inline policy to the user. We can create again with the help of the policy generator or if we know how to write it with the JSON we can write it down or if we know how to create a policy with the help of the you know with the graphical we can create it from here so what I am going to do is I am going to use the policy generator for that so let me close this thing and this time what I am going to do is I am going to have the IAM policy here okay now here Amazon S3 I need to give access all now here we need to provide the resource name now what is the resource name that is the bucket name so let me copy this thing Sorry, we need to provide the error and I, and I have just copied the bucket name. So that is something we don't need. So let me click on edit here so that we will get the bucket ARN. Let me provide this thing here, add statement, generate policy. Now we have this thing and we need to copy this thing. And we need to go to our account where my user is created and we need to paste it as an inline policy. Now what exactly this thing is doing? This is providing access to the S3 all action on the S3 we, we can go with the limited access as well as of now I am not going with the limited access I am providing each and everything in the S3 and here is the resource this is the resource which is there in a different account right now let me create review now here we can provide the policy name so S3 bucket policy yeah that is fine let me create this thing now we have this thing created now let me go to my user and try to access the same bucket this time I am able to access okay we are still getting this error message yes we are able to access this bucket right 
so this is how you can provide cross account s3 bucket access okay so these are the steps 